All right, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in this truth and sincerity. All right, now this is uh, the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal even as unto babes in Yahweh Shai. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able, for ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of a Paul, another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul? And who was Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos watered, but the Mosai, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but the Mosai that giveth the increase. All right, so I read that to start off this lesson, which, you know, basically, you, want, you know, you see the title. You know, cut out, cut out all that drama and remember order, man. Because you, you got guys still going around with this fucking, you know, this bullshit, man. You know? And then I'm, I'm going to speak on it. And, and one of the, the, what prompted me to do this is uh, the situation with, uh, uh, you know, men of valor and the brothers in Jersey, GMS, give diligence or GMS soldiers. And um, they had a situation, you know, but really they didn't have a situation. You know, they're doing, they minding their business, they're doing the work of the Lord. And I'm a, you, uh, Gabar Rakat from Men of Valor, you decided to come on, I guess, this brother's page, a, a, a video he did where he was, um, you know, uh, doing a response because a few brothers did a response with the uh, conversation Danya Allah had, priest Danya Allah had concerning the Apostle Taha and giving them the reverence and whatever. And then you chose that to try to attack these brothers out of the clear blue, all right, out of the clear blue on something that had nothing to do with you, man, you know, and you, you was way out of, you was way off, man, way off, okay, and this ain't the first time you did this stuff, man, all right, and I know you personally, I mean, I, I liked you, I always liked you, you know what I'm saying, I like a lot of, a lot of guys, but fuck, it ain't about that like, just as much as I like you, you know, I could, listen, you do some bullshit, I'm gonna call you on it, man, and you acting like a, a, a fucking female, man, doing this shit, man. All right? And you could take, you know, you could take it for whatever you want to take it, you know, and through the spirit, when the brother told me that she was on his comment board, you know, because y'all brothers that know know me, most times I said, look, stay away from all that drama shit, you know? I said, all right, the brother put a scripture there, and the scripture he put, and Lord willing, I'm going to read that, that scripture too, but the scripture that he put was perfect, man. All right? Metal, not in, in uh, matters that Matters that uh, matter of fact, let me go get it real quick. Let me get the scripture real quick so I could uh quote it the right way. All right, this is well, this is another scripture. It's Ecclesiasticus uh, eleventh chapter, right? I'll just read that real quick. Brother, brother, I believe they quote. I watched the video that they did. They did a response video because you called yourself doing a video getting at them. Now, once you broke, once you jump, you know, jumped out of the window, went and went on a page telling them, oh, "Do y'all give double honors to Desire One and, and this, that, and the third? Once the brother quoted the scripture, if you being a, a humble brother like you say you are and proclaim to be, all right, the scripture say, "Reprove a wise man, and he will love thee." You would have received, you would have realized that, damn, I'm tripping. You would have caught yourself when the brother gave you the, the scripture, Ecclesiastes 11 and 7. It says, blame not before thou hast examined the truth, understand first, and then rebuke. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in the judgment with sinners. My son, meddle not with many matters. For if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. All right? So once the brother put that there, you should have humbled yourself, swallowed your pride, 
and realize that you went off. You, you know what? I, you're right. I'm speaking out something that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, I got emotional. All right? Just be honest. I got emotional. And that would have been more honorable. You, you want to be men of valor, right? What you call you guys call yourself, right? That would have been honorable. You know, and then it would have been, it would have been everything would have just stopped right there. So I told the brother, I right, leave it, leave it at that. Then next thing you know, the brother saying, hey, well, these brothers are going, you making, you made videos, a four part series. And I watched some of it, the video that you did, and you was going off, man, and you was getting emotional. Okay. And you was going off. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hit script. I got some scriptures, and but I'm talking particularly to you, Gabar Rakai, because in the past, this ain't the first time that you did this. That you, you know, you always kind of do this, man. And the brothers are talk to you or whatever. You act like you humbled and like, all right, the brother humbled and stuff. You know, and, and, and listen, I'm a, I'm about speaking the truth, man. You know, I don't give a damn if you got some of you brothers sometimes, I hear you say double honesty to apostles, even though that, you, you know, you brothers are not a part of GMS no more. Okay. Some of you brothers might even send tights or whatever. That don't mean shit. That don't mean a fucking thing, man. All right. That don't mean a fucking thing. If you. You going off and you doing wickedness. And here it is. You coming at these brothers. All right. And you being proud, man. Here it is the brothers. And they had a right to respond. They had a right to respond to you. And you're going to sit there and, and, and go on a video. I see you left a comment. I believe that's you. You have no humility or honor. Better repent. How the hell are you going to tell them they have no humility or, or honor? And first of all, through the spirit, I've been dealing with these brothers for years, man. Even when they were calling themselves DTA. Because the spirit uh, had me deal with them because the, the they, they brothers reached out to certain the, certain of the apostles, right? Some of the apostles, and then they, the apostles were like, well, look, brother, see what this situation is about. See what that's about, all right? Because it's up to me. I'd rather not even deal with none of this. I hate this fucking bullshit, man. When you deal with a lot of fucking dudes, you, you know, you always got bullshit. But, I, you know, I said, right, I, don't, I don't mind doing it, you know? I mean, shit, you know, it's all part of, this is part of the the, uh, the body too, you know, but there was the spirit that got on the apostles, that's why I get, you know, I'm in touch with certain brothers and other dudes that fell off or, you know, that's why I kept in touch with them because the apostles like, we'll see what's up with this one or that one, you know, or then the spirit had me uh, delegated to the another brother or whatever the case is. That's how that happened. So anyway, the spirit got on this brother, Taziah Wall, that you see here in the, in the, in the screen, the spirit had him reach out to the apostles and the apostles had me talk to them. And this was years ago. And, and really, to be honest with you, man, you know, they, they wanted to, they had issues with Tazia one years ago. That's why he reached out because he didn't know, know if he was going off this, that, and the third. But then we was able, I was, you know, able to give him counsel through the spirit of Yahweh about Shemi Shai. Well, look, this, y'all worked that out. Because the scriptures say two are better than one. It's always about brotherhood. Even when y'all had the rift between men of valor and DTA, or whatever, the spirit had me talk to certain different brothers. Man, look, y'all, man, look, hash that out. There ain't no real beef, you know? But then other shit sparked up or whatever. Fine. Brothers are not always going to get along with each other. Brothers go their separate ways. These brothers, and they, they said it in the video. I watched more. I didn't watch all the video, but they said it, uh, said what it was as far as what to Zion one and the council they had and you know, basically, he, he whatever, he went off and he got demoted, but he ain't want to deal with it. He wanted to go do his own thing. Cool. Them brothers ain't, how you going to say they don't have no honor or no humility? They could have been blasting them and, you know what I'm saying? They didn't do none of that, man. They said, nah, the brother want to do his own thing. And then once I heard about it, I said, all right, well, that's that's cool. You know, you do, do what you got to do. Just like you brothers, man. I mean, mainly, and I'm speaking mainly to you, Gabar because... You always get yourself in a situation, man. You know, you got, it's like, and not, not nothing personal, because I think on a personal level, I think that you're a beautiful brother, but then you got this bullshit with you too. Like you got the wrong energy in you, man. Like why, what the hell has this got to do? These brothers out there, they ain't saying shit about you. All right. They teaching the word. They've been doing the word. And what you think? You think that we don't know what's going on? You think the apostles, uh, uh they don't see everything? Or you just you, you felt like, yeah, see the apostles, you know, they 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 don't know what's going on. Or they showing favoritism. They just only know one. I'm I know what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there and call these guys out. I'm gonna call these why the fuck what's up what's up with this wanting to call everybody out, man? Only person I expect to see do that is scoffers, man. Are you a scoffer? Now you want another one of their videos, you're gonna start trolling these brothers and telling them about how much honor and humility that they don't got, man. It don't make no sense, man. You you was off, 
All right, he was off just like he was before. And again, you know, I believe that amongst men of valor, there's a lot of you brothers that I see, I see a lot of you brothers that teach. When I do watch some of your videos, brothers that teach, they don't look like they with that drama stuff. I don't know them by name. I remember them from when they when y'all were coming up to the main camp. And I've never seen them get caught up into none of that drama shit. They just teach. Oh, I see them going to the prophecies, whatever do, you know, shows edifying, which is beautiful because at the end of the day, that's what you're supposed to be doing. All right. But it's mainly you that's always doing this extracurriculum stuff and sitting up there just doing self-will move. That was a self-will move. Okay. And then uh Manasha, you somewhat to blame too, because back when y'all was GMS, I told you 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 gotta you gotta be the head of that thing, being that you got the experience, okay, and you know, you know what's what to do and how to do things, but you know, it seems like it's like a free for all, and brothers just do whatever they want to do. You understand? And um and, and I told you because y'all were GMS about the situation with Padat, okay, because Padat, the spirit had uh had uh, removed Padat out of the or out of the circle of GMS because of certain things that he had did, okay, that was out of order. And I and I broke I told you you brother about it or whatever the case is. You know the conversation we had. I ain't heard nothing from you since that day. I ain't even hear you say, hey, we'll, we'll all do respect or you know, the brother, we we gonna rock out with the brother. I just see y'all continue to rock out with the, the brother. After I told you he was out of GMS. And then the spirit got on Apostle Ryan Block. You can go back, check the video. He made the video that the Lord is not the author of confusion. Okay, because here it is. We we told him that this guy is out or whatever the case is. And now if if he's a Padaza man of the Lord, because again, we didn't have nothing personal, personal, we liked him, but it ain't about liking. If you go off, if I go off or whatever the case is, the apostles are gonna get on me or whatever the case. Regardless how much they like me or, or whatever, that don't have, that don't hold no weight. This ain't a thing of popularity, man. Okay, this ain't a thing of popularity. So and and, and if y'all have new descriptions or whatever the case, or Padah felt that he was done wrong, he sh he should have known to, to suffer suffer uh, wrongfully. That's when you apply those scriptures. See, a lot of you guys, you know, you you talk it and everything, but y'all don't apply it, man. You understand? But again, really, this is uh, towards you, uh, Gabar. You know, I mean, Pastor Todd told y'all brothers, look, y'all might as well do your own thing because it don't make no sense if we tell you that this dude is off, but y'all like, nah, he ain't off. That goes back to the same. I mean, I don't, I don't got to, I, I don't think I got to mention all the other past situations, man. You understand? But anyway, y'all brothers was doing the work, so that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, we didn't, we ain't say nothing about. It. We just let it, let it, let, let, let it be what it is. You know, your brother's doing the work, but that don't mean nothing because you out there doing the work or whatever the case is. You got to deal rightly, man. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to uh, Matthew's seventh chapter, right? This is Matthew seven and one. It says, judge not that ye be not judged and not for nothing, man, bro brother, you should be the last person if you truly re repentative, all right, if you truly repent it, you should be the last person involving yourself with this type of uh, energy or this type of drama, you know? Me, I done spoke with you or whatever on other situations when you when you did this, man, all right? Brought you to the scriptures and everything. And then I, and I took it that you you got it. So I was like, all right, cool, the brother gets it. You out of all people shouldn't, man. Yahweh Shai said, judge not that ye be not judged, man. So here it is, you're going to talk about these brothers, about them not honoring honoring the elder. First of all, man, it don't matter who, who brought you into this thing, man. All right? Let me go, go back to the Corinthians real quick. And that's why I started, started it with this uh, scripture. It says, For while one saith I'm of a Paul, and another I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed? And them brothers set the record straight, that they didn't come in through to Zion, okay? That they they uh, were watching the show with the apostles, and the to Zion was watching. I remember that brother. Come on, that brother knows I, I know him. I know his history. When he first came out there, back I don't know if the other brothers you were saying don't call him elder. You talk. I think you might have been referring to Nazarekada and Yaikwa. You said there's other men that that don't call. So you you saying that Nazarekada and Yaikwa are supposed to be calling this, this man their elder? Because he brought them down to 34th and 7th. All right? You don't want to get them brothers to start talking about things. But I remember all the way back when he first came and with the other duty he had 
that was trying to, that was stuck on smoking black and miles and all that stuff. All right. I remember all that stuff. And then eventually, because our man will become direct and straight from the apostles on down, and he wasn't feeling that at the time, so he went hooked up with, with uh Zabaka and them. And that's when you and you know my Manasseh uh Yeshaya, whatever y'all hooked up or whatever the case, then y'all seen that Zabak was doing some bullshit, then y'all separated. I know I know the history, man. You understand? But at the end of the day, look, man, Pastor Tahar don't want nobody worshiping him, man. Now, you say uh, double honors because the scriptures say the elders that rule well among you are worthy of the double honors, man. Okay? And, and Apostle Tahar, look, you can't compare Apostle Tahar to, to that brother. And this ain't no slight on uh, to Zion because he ain't, I didn't hear him say nothing. You know, I didn't hear him speak ill on, on the situation or whatever. As far as I know, he was just out there doing the work. All right? But still, nonetheless, they came in. They giving honors to the apostle Tahar because that's what they learned. That's who taught to Zion. That's what, what to Zion got. The breakdowns, he was giving double honors to the apostles. All right? But the apostle Tahar don't could care less for that shit, man. He ain't looking for brothers to come in worshiping him and bowing down to him. And, you know, the scriptures say, watch them that flatter with the lips. Because a lot of, what, what's uh, more important, man? John 14 and 15. Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. All right? If you continue in my word, then are you my disciple indeed? So Yahweh Shai, rather your actions, man. Okay, and if you want to talk about, you know, because Gabar, you came in through the main camp, all right, and that's a whole nother story. You came in through the main camp, and you brothers didn't honor, you know, when, when the order came out that, because the scriptures tell you when a guy acts unruly, that you could separate yourself from him, and, and, and that nobody's not supposed to have dealings with him. And when that order came out, y'all decided not to follow it. Amongst other things, just like this. Y'all didn't learn this from the apostles, man. All right? But you'll say double honors to the apostles. You know what I mean? Look, man, I'm saying cut out all that bullshit, man. Cut out all that bullshit, man. What is that for? What is, what's, what's it going to get you? Unless you were scoffers. The scoffers is doing it. I expect to see the scoffers doing that. But if you call yourself a man of the Lord out there teaching his word, stop with that fucking drama shit, man. All right? So now back... uh. Go back to Matthew 7. It says, Judge not that ye be not judged. And that's what you gotta watch. When you, you know, like the old uh old saying, don't throw rocks if you live in a glass house. When everybody, when, when all your stuff is public and people know how fucked up you are and shit that you did, just be humble, man. Scripture scripture saves uh study to do thy work and be quiet, man. Stop trying to sit there and, and reach for shit, man. It says, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but consider if not the beam that is in thine own eye? All right? Because, again, you had no business coming at these brothers. If they did, say if what happened with the Zion one, say if it ain't happened the way they said it happened and it happened the way, well, that's where it shows character, man. All right? Because the scriptures say uh, suffering wrongfully is acceptable with the most high. So if you thought that you got the wrong judgment, then you're supposed to suffer. There's plenty of brothers who the wrong judgment, they got casted out. All right? I'll name, the main one that comes to mind is uh, Uriah. And he didn't sit there and get all bitter and lash out at the brothers, especially brothers that, that did wickedness to him, man, that treated him like shit when he didn't deserve it. He dealt with it, he prayed for brothers, and he just kept, he shut the fuck up and did the work, man. You know, and the Lord, eventually the Lord what? Exonerated him, the Lord, the Lord um, justified him, man. You see? But what you did, again, was out of order, man. And then, the way you did it, the brothers making a video edifying the body and, and, and you know, brothers speaking about the brother that gave apostle to our honors. You know, and then now you want to try to throw uh, uh, to Zion in the midst of that, man? That was whack, man. That was whack, man. It's whack as hell, man. It says, well, How will thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. And you got a big-ass beam in your eye, man. Okay? And like I said, normally, man, I don't even get into this stuff. You know, when, when they, and them brothers will tell you, Say, ah, don't worry about it, man. Just do the work. That's what I tell most of the brothers, man. Even the guys that was once amongst us, I told them, just do the work, man. Don't get into all that 
back and forth, he say, she say shit, man. But you know, you got some guys that just got to keep doing it, man. All right. It says, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, then should out see clearly to cast out the moat of thy brother's eye. And we got to remember, you got to be humility. Yeah, we talk about that there's demons in GMS. All right. Not everybody in GMS is going to make it. But you know what? You got to have that. You got to have that. That label, the Lord had the apostle, apostle to hard tell brothers to label if they were GMS or not, because it got to be some type of order. Okay, First Corinthians uh, 14 chapter, right? You know, as a matter of fact, let me let me just get that real quick. And that was why the Spirit got an apostle around lot. He made that video because it got to it got to be order, you know. And if you don't and if you don't want order, or you got a problem with the order, then you do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You do your own thing. You know, but don't don't try to mix in or associate with us because we believe in order, man. We believe in order. All right, it says, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. So there's an order of things, man. There's, you're supposed to get counsel. When when them uh, the brothers, uh, Jersey brothers, GMS uh, soldiers of the faith, when they do things, they get counsel. You got other brothers, they're called either the apostles the ones that are in touch with the apostles, some of them are called me or other elders or other brothers. They'll ask for counsel or advice. They don't just sit there and, and, and just jump out the window and everything, man. All right? The scriptures say that the Lord is not the author of confusion. And that's what that that's what you're bringing in is, is confusion. You see? But I'm gonna I'm gonna I got a, a few scriptures I want to get get into just to bring out the point. All right, first Peter's. Go straight to the point. All right, this is First Peter chapter 4, verse 15. It says, But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as in bitty slacker, <laughs> or as a busybody in other men's matters. Okay? As a busybody in other men's matters. And you know, I mean, yeah, right now I'm speaking, I was directing this towards uh, you know, Gabar, Gabar, um, Raka, right? If I'm saying his name right, you know, Gabar Raka, Raka. I'm directing to him. I don't know if I said your name wrong earlier, but anyway, it's also too an example for other brothers as well. Man, look, man, mind your fucking business, man. All right, you brothers got your camps, deal with your camps, man. Let the camp heads deal with whoever you know the other heads. They gotta get in touch with us. Let them get in touch with us. But mind your own business, man. Stop with all this fucking gossip shit. Let the let the um let Yako 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 Wacko and whoever else let them do that, man. All right, that's their their lot, their portion. You see? It says, you know, do follow the scriptures, man. If you don't want to follow anything, fuck me, fuck what I'm saying. Do what the scriptures say, man. Okay? It says, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. All right, because man, we at the, the, the very end, man. And, and just because you might sit there and act like you humble and say that, or say, oh, I'm hum I'm hoping, I'm hoping. If you if your actions don't match that, what you think is going to happen to you, man? You understand? And then when then when a, a brother hit, uh, checks you or cuts you with a scripture, then now you want to come back with another scripture. That's pride, man. That's pride, man. Like I said, as far as with you, Gabar Rukai, when a brother... Uh, answered you with the scripture, you should have left, left it alone, man. You should have said, all right, man, you know what? Hey, I'm going off. I, the Lord is going to deal with it. You know? You guys be doing too much, man. You go too far. And that's why I'd say on you, uh, Manasseh, unless you didn't have no knowledge of it, you know, the knowledge that the brother did it, which you, you should, you know, you should know what's going on. You know? Like I said, I, I've known you for a while. You got the experience. You know, you know that all this, you know what, what he did was out of order, man. There was no need for none of that shit, man. You know, that's when you pull him to the side and say, ah, nah, man, take that down. Cut, you know, we, we, why, why are we starting shit up? You know, unless that's what you want to do, all right? And trust me, them brothers, they've been, man, they, they've been cool. They ain't, look, man, and since, you know, what the brother said, he said, since, um, uh, Tazai one, 
did his own things or once they whatever, which was what a year ago. And now you just speaking on it. He said since then he said man the camp brothers been and I see him. They're doing more more works. You know they they out there filming more. They doing live shows. They work and speaking about what they're doing, man. All right. They're not you know they ain't busy peeking into what you brothers are doing or this that and the third man. They just moving on doing the work, man. All right. And the Lord, I guess, and they, he told me I was talking with him uh, the other uh, yesterday. He said that the um those guys that left his camp, you know, you know, went back in the world or whatever. They just got killed yesterday or, or the day before or something like that. The Lord had them get gunned down, man. Two dudes, man. So that shows you that the Most High ain't playing, man. And you sitting up there fucking around with, with brothers, men that's doing the work, man. Come on, then you're going to pretend to be a brother. That's being worse than a goddamn scoffer, man. Either you're going to be a brother and do the work, do it the right way. And if you're going to say double honest to the, the apostles and the elders, then do what the, do the, follow after their works. Follow after their examples, man. All right? Continue in, the, in the, the doctrine of the apostles, man, which is what? Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, according to the scriptures, man. All right? Like I said, I just want to bring out bring out some of these scriptures, man. This is Proverbs 29 and 1. It says, He that being often reproved, hardeneth, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed in that without remedy. And it ain't don't matter about being cool, man, because the Lord is going to destroy you, man. You keep getting reproved. Brothers keep checking you. And you like, man, I ain't going off. And now nah, they going off. Well, what about this scripture? What about this situation? Now nah, they being hypocrites. Or they... Uh, showing favoritism. You start, that's you harder than your neck, man. And that's the Lord putting a, a deceitful spirit on you, man, like he did with Pharaoh, man. And you keep going in that route, even though you might have some brothers that, you know, and like I said, I don't got nothing personal, never never really did, but you always did a lot of bullshit. And you know, the spirit that, you know, you know, I talked to you straight up when you did do do the shit, man, you know, or any, as well as with any other brother, just like, like I learned from the apostles and apostles got on me straight up when I when I went off and when I still go off, right? But at, after a while, you keep hardening your neck. The Lord is going to destroy you. Ain't nobody going to be able to help you or, or pray for you or this, that, and the third. And those brothers, man, they, man, and they were still being humble. They still said that. They, they, they still got mad love for the brother uh, to Zion one. They know that he, he uh, was, was helping them and guiding them or whatever the case is. They didn't, you know, shit on them or nothing like that, man. Hell, the, the the man that who the Lord used to teach me, y'all don't even some y'all don't even know who he is, man. Most of y'all, but I ain't giving him no double honors because why? He didn't continue to do the work, man. I mean, in his mind, he think he's still doing the work, whichever way he's doing it, and that's on him, man. That's between him and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, I know who my elders are, man. All right, from Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rakai, Apostle Ramlab. Those are the brothers that nurtured me. Hell, even um. King Masha, High Priest Ariyah. Okay, I was blessed to, to uh, be in uh, classes with them, to do the Sabbath service a couple of times with uh, High Priest Ariyah. You know, be around, be around them, soaking up whatever I can soak. You know, being being uh, underneath Apostle Tahar and the rest of the apostles. Okay, I get Elder Yaikwa had moments with them brothers before he went back into the spirit world. You know, personal moments that I cherish. You know. So I, I know who my elders are. I give give honors to him, man. You understand? But now the guy that, that taught me the truth, he's not, he spoke, he ain't with, with me with me no more. He ain't in the camp no more. All right. So I, I you know, he, he don't get no hey, the Lord, I, I acknowledge, and, and he did, and let me tell you something, he did all kind of shit for me, man. Shit, when I was in the world coming, he was holding, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, them things for me, man. All right, he did all kind of shit for me that I I was very grateful for that. He ain't have to do, you know, and he wanted to do, you know, so, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go and go double honors to him or whatever, because he didn't keep doing the work. Once you, you know, once you ain't doing the will of the father, then, then we ain't brothers no more. Now, if somehow, whatever, somehow he come back in, then that's a whole different story, man. And you got the prodigal son, like with high priest Ariya, who we believe the Lord, we don't know at what point it's going to happen, but we know that the Lord is going to take those uh, spirits off of him, okay? You see, because he is he is a man of the Lord. The things that he did can't be denied, all right? So it said, he that being often reproved, hardened of his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Now, I'm going to go back to uh, 
Apocrypha. Matter of fact, let me go to the, the fifth fifth chapter. You know, pardon me for if I'm ranting too much, <clears throat> but I just want to bring this out, man, because you know, hey man, I, I w really was displeased with the way way um you did it, and you're still continuing. You know, you ain't even leaving well enough alone. You're gonna go on these brothers' page and accuse them of not having no uh no no humility or no honor. Better repent. And then you're gonna call it mirror. All right. Well, maybe you, you should have thought about the mirror before you even thought about saying something to these guys, man. And check yourself first, man. You know? Cause this 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 was off, man. This was off, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna come back here. See. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 20, uh, 20, verse 1. It says, There is a reproof that is not comely. All right. Again, some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. So that's what you should have did. You should have you should have held your tongue, man. Even if you felt See, Jake always want to, like the scripture says, it's like a like a man getting shot with an arrow and he needs to pull it out. So it's a, 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 a man or a fool with words. Jake always want to just lash out shit all the time, man. You know, it said there's a reproof that is not comedy. Every time you're rebuking a brother, it's not right. You know, it's not right. Every time you think you're correcting a man or whatever, first of all, you, you needed to correct yourself, man. All right. And you was off and you were speaking on things you didn't know about. As well as other things that that was off about, you know, the, uh, your response. You did a four part video, or whatever the case is, man. <clears throat> Don't you realize how that sets sets forth confusion, man? To brothers that are young out there that might not know no better. But I mean, it, we don't we don't care because at the end of the day, it's about the elect. And Yahweh Shai said, "My sheep hear my voice." And like I said, even well, every you know, a few of the apostles and elders, from time to time, if we do mention you, brothers of men of valor. We do believe that there's men, men of the Lord. You know, a lot of brothers in the other camps, they probably watch you, brothers. But, man, all this other bullshit, man, is out of order, man. You know, it's out of order, man. And and, and the brothers that are around you, and starting with Manasha and other brothers, they should be checking you, man. Or if you don't want to hear what they got to say, then they should, they should uh, the, the scriptures say, separate you, man. Get rid of, rid of the leaven. You can't let leaven hang around, man. All right? Just because you, you you had good times with brothers, we we drunk beers and and, and maybe might have had little bad battles together. If you go off, you off, man. There ain't no man. So you know how many dudes that I know from the time I've been in this truth who I had good times with, so to speak, in Babylon. It's the best of times you can have in hell. All right, but I can't. I don't fuck with them no more. I ain't calling a, a nigga that used to um be cool with years ago, right? But he left. He left years ago. I'm gonna call yo man. What you doing, yo man? Let's let's get up and ball. Let's go ball. Let's go to let's go to the movie. This new movie's coming out. Let's check that out. Let's go get it. Nah, man, I ain't doing that, man. All right. If it, hey, but dude is off. He's off, man. All right. If he's outside the fold, he's outside the fold, man. So you got you guys understand the spiritual thing. You don't know how the Lord works, man. And there's a lot of guys. Well, I'm gonna quote what, what Apostle Gabar said: is, is you got guys that get it and guys that don't get it. All right. So it said, there's a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And if you do have a, a problem with your brothers, and I believe they address that in the, in the scripture, I mean, in the video, you're supposed to do what it, the Lord said in Matthew 18. If you really felt strongly about that, instead of going public with it, trying to make a, a, a whatever you was trying to do, whatever your purpose was, you should have said, you know what, let me get them brothers enough, let me go talk to them brothers one on one. Maybe you could have hashed out any issue that you thought there was with the brothers. See, and that's what I respect more. I respect more when brothers, you know, uh, uh, repent. Like when, when y'all brothers, when DTA and Men of Valor, years ago, y'all came together and everything. But I was happy as hell through the spirit. Because that's beautiful. I love, you know, the scriptures say, let brotherly, how it go, let brotherly love continue. You know, how beautiful is it when brethren dwell together in unity? And I'm all, all for the brotherhood. But if you a nigga, fuck you, man. All right? If you a demon, fuck you. But brothers, and when you hash out, that's that's more powerful than anything, man. A man repenting 
is, is stronger than you rebuking a, a, a brother or wanting to curse him out and, and make a video, you know? So if you really thought that the, and the spirit was really on you, you should have went and stepped to them brothers uh, uh, on the side or whatever and dealt with it that way. It says, and he that confesseth his fault, his fault shall be preserved from hurt. So, hey, man, you got a lot. You talking about these brothers. You got a lot you got to deal with, man. I mean, hey, we all hoping to be saved. But at the end of the day, man, you know, not, not, everybody, not everybody's going to make it, man. All right? Not everybody's going to make it. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance, for so should thou escape willful sin? And, again, with, the, with you, brother, I, in the spirit, I had different brothers correct you on matters such as this. And when you show repentance, meaning what? You, 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 repentance meaning back to penance. You, you're ashamed and sorrowful of what you did that got you in that, that spotlight, that got you in that hot hot seat with the Lord. I mean, at the end of the day, we just men, you know, but we're, we're the men of the Lord. The Lord does have a, his counsel on earth, okay? And the Lord don't have a bunch of different counsel. That's what a lot of people think, you know, like, look, you can be, you can be cool. You can be cool. You part of the Lord's council. You part of the Lord's council. You believe in something different, but you believe in something different. He believes in something different, but we're all part of it. It don't work that way. It's only one Lord, one faith, one name. All right. The Lord, Lord's council is with men, with his men. All right. With the apostles of GMS on down. I mean, you know, the, the proof is in the put, putting. If you're spiritual, if you got eyes, eyes to see. All right. And show what's wrong with that, man. And even when a brother put the scripture, you should show repentance. For so shall thou escape willful sin. And that's that self-willed spirit, man. All right. How uh yeah, that's that's it on that. We'll go to the next back to uh where we was at, the fifth chapter. Right now, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 9. Win or not with every wind, and go not into every way. For for so doth the sinner that hath a double tongue. And, you, and that's, you know, dealing with different philosophies and doctrines and everything, you know. And, and, and every every spirit that, you know, you got spirits out there. So you got seducing spirits out there. All right? And the scriptures speak about being a busybody. The scriptures speak about uh, being a talebearer. The scriptures speak about... Uh, uh, so in discord, okay? And I'm talking about within the brotherhood. I'm not talking about with demons or niggas that ain't a part of the fold, okay? So you got the brotherhood, and then you got the false prophets, the uh, the wicked that are amongst, amongst uh, Israel, okay? There's a difference, man. The Lord spoke of that. You know, he said you got the five wise virgins, and you got the five foolish virgins, virgins all right? So it says, uh, be steadfast in thy understanding. And let thy word be the same. Be swift to hear. And a lot of times, a lot of brothers ain't swift to hear. They always want to justify themselves. Nah, but you don't know about this. But nah, he did this. He said that. That's Come on, that's whole shit, man. Let thy life be sincere. And with patience, give answer. If thou hast understanding, answer your neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. In other words, shut the fuck up, man. Honor and shame. You talking about these brothers. Honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of a man is his fall. So that's your fall, brother. You better, you know, come out of that spirit, man. You know, and, and like I said, I, you know, day I'm going, I'm in what 38 minutes of, of this or whatever, 39 minutes, you know. But through the spirit, spirit telling me I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because this thing gotta stop, man. All this bullshit going back and forth, which brothers ain't gonna keep going back and forth. But you sitting up there slandering brothers, but y'all supposed to. Being under the same fold, the same doctrine, or the same elders, the same heads, that's off, man. And I can't, I, I figured brothers got that. I didn't think brothers were still on that bullshit, man. You know? It says, be not called a whisperer and lie not and wait with thy tongue. Yeah, you waiting for an opportunity to blast a brother. Yeah, I think now I'm a blast. Yeah, he's a hypocrite. See? Yeah. You know, he ain't talking about Taziwan or what. You know? Come on, man. It says, for a foul shame is upon a thief and an evil condemnation upon the double tongue. All right. Now I'm going uh, to go one more scripture and I'm going to get ready to wrap it up. Uh, 
All right, so this is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7. And I'm going to start at uh, 20. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. So for you to sit up there, that's why you got to be careful when you're calling out other brothers and speaking on matters you don't know about, man, because you're trying to, you, you may be uh, uh, justifying the wicked and condemning the just. Have you ever thought about that? Huh? How do you know? What, what if those brothers were in the right? And guess what? I know, know the situation. Those brothers are in the right. Okay? Because as far as th that situation that happened. And the Lord's been blessing them brothers and brothers. Like I said, they continued in the work and they, they haven't been doing all this drama shit, man. You starting this drama shit, man. That shit's not right, man. It says, also, take no heed unto all words that are spoken. Least thou, least thou hear thy servant curse thee. So you can't, you know, I don't know if there's Iowa, because he said maybe he's throwing shots or whatever. You're going to say you never threw shots at brothers in the videos. You probably threw shots at, at brothers in the main camp. I remember videos you talked about you was going to spit on brothers in the main camp. The fuck is up with that, man? Right? Don't salute me. When, see me, don't salute me. I'll spit in your, you know? Now, I don't know if you went back and apologized to the brother or, or, or salak you for that, but you was off. You ain't spitting on nobody, man. You know that. You understand? So you you know you sitting up there talking shit about these for things, and I, I'm telling you, bro, I could list all kind of stuff that ways that you was off in, man. You know, it says, for oftentimes also thy own heart knoweth that thou thyself likewise have cursed others. You see, so that's why you got to be humble, man. You know, but anyway, you know, I said the point, man. I have other scriptures, but the point on that matter, you know, I said it. And, and, and that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at. I mean, you want to do, whoever want to do videos, responses, that's up to you, man. But this is this is bullshit. Here it is. We got America being destroyed, and you still got niggas, all right? And I'm going to say that word nigga, all right? I mean, if you're a brother, then act like a brother. But if you act like a nigga, I got to call you, call, call it what it is, man, okay? You got this bullshit of, oh, you, you, you guys ain't right. Oh, you need to repent. Oh, what about this? You're a hypocrite. Come on. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What the hell is, what, what are you thinking about, man? You got the wrong energy up in you, man. Okay? Some of you guys got too much damn time, man. You know? But anyway, I mean, I hope, I hope uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that brothers do repent. Repent from, from all that, that nonsense, man, because, you know, that, that's unnecessary, man. You know, and, it, and it's been plenty of stuff throughout the, you know, throughout the years we could have called y'all out on, man. You know, even though y'all say double honesty apostles or whatever, we could have called y'all on a lot of things that y'all were doing that, that was off, man. You know? But we just said, hey, whatever. We're going to go in the spirit. Brothers know, know what time it is, you know? And then you got brothers amongst you who do go hard and they do teach, edify. And I know that they're not with this fucking bullshit, man. All this emotional and drama stuff. I know they can't be with it because when I see a lot of these the other brothers in the camp, and I don't know them by names, but I see them, they're just doing the work. They're just teaching. They're just breaking the scriptures down, prophecy. That's what you're supposed to be doing, man. You're not supposed to be looking to start beef with, with brothers, man. If anything, you're looking to either squash any beef or, or you just keep doing just doing the work, man. You know, going back with Sakari, that was his problem, man, with, with Uriah. He was so, instead of just saying, look, man, I'm going to just do my thing. And he do, no, he had that vindictive, which drove him to, to uh, do his other things and then to start having other opinions or disagreements with the apostles to the point where he eventually he started disrespecting them and doing it, you know, got steam and picked up members and a following. And you see where he's at with it, man. Okay. And that's a pattern too. Guys that sit there, even the guy, you know, even, um, uh, Nazarai and them at first they said they was cool or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then they got their numbers up and they got following and everything. And, whatever reason, and maybe one of the brothers might have said something towards them, I don't know, but then they just went on these rants, talking shit, shitting out the, going after the apostles, talking reckless and everything, you know, it's, it's a pattern with a lot of guys who say that they're cool, or they don't want to be up under the GMS umbrella, or whatever, they're cool, now nah, double honors, double honors, then they turn out, oh, they're just, you know, they're hoes, bitches, this, that, and the third, look, man, do the work, man, do the work, leave all that fucking drama shit alone, man, all right? Lord ain't dealing with all that and all that emotions and, and stuff, man. 
Oh, you did this. You said that. No, man, do the work. It's a look. Yahweh Shai said the harvest is plenteous. All right, but but the laborers are few. Okay, so you know, again, I ain't gonna. I'm not saying who's the elect out of out of y'all or whatever the case is, but um, that move that you pulled is not a move of of the elect. All right, I do know that. That was off, and and, and you know, hopefully, again, hopefully, you repent. And y'all leave that stupid shit alone. And anybody else that got any of those stupid ass issues, either go to your brother and deal with it and squash it, or just keep it pushing, man. Keep doing the work. All right. So with that, I'm gonna say all praise to y'all about you outside. Okay. A double honors again to the apostles who do rule well. The apostles of Great Millstone and honors and salutations to you, Akim out there that's sincere, laboring in this truth. Shalom.